the fashionable shopping district near St. James's Palace stands one of London's most exclusive shoe shops. Mr. Eric Lobbs supplies boots and shoes to many famous people. His grandfather founded the business in the gold rush days by making miners' boots with a special heel that concealed the gold. These slippers appropriately won Lobbs the gold medal in the 1876 Philadelphia exhibition. Autograph hunters would be interested in this book. Here are the penciled outlines of Gordon Harker's feet and on the other pages are many more footprints of the famous. Next, the last maker takes over. His job is to make wooden models of the client's feet from those first penciled outlines. For this, he uses a rough last, which he carves into shape with his outsized knife. See for yourself some of the famous people whose feet have been carved in wood by the last maker. The next operation is performed by the clicker, as they call him in the business. Cutter outer to you. He's handled a good many miles of leather in his life and can tell at a glance the age and condition of the animal that it came from. The clicker's job is to cut out the leather from patterns made from the last. This is the first rough cutting, and he leaves plenty of margin for working. Notice how the two pieces are left attached, so that neither of them can get lost. Now we come to Mr. Saunders, a closer, who fixes together the uppers. The trade secret is how he'll manage to get the last out afterwards. Now meet Mr. Hansen, a maker. He's the man who finishes off the job by sewing on the soles. And here are some of the finished results of the processes you've seen all made by hand in the old traditional way that's still the best, even in this machine age. All that remains now is to wrap them up and deliver them to the customer. And that's how famous people get their shoes. You could have a pair made yourself for about 10 guineas. <laughs>